Now, though, let's talk teeth, as tens of thousands of Kiwi kids have poor dental health. A new report has found one four-year-old needed all her rotting baby teeth removed, and that is not an isolated case. On Ann Mum Pedia Pro 3 Coffee Group, we are talking oral hygiene with Katie Bage and Karina Gray. Good morning to you both. Good morning, Mel. Lovely to have you in here. Uh, first up, Katie, let's start with you. What are some of the worst cases that you've seen at your dental practice? Well, Mel, like you've said, sometimes we have to remove all the baby tooth from a child's mouth, often needing a general anaesthetic. Oh. But I think for any parent bringing their child to the dentist and finding out their child has cavities, that can be really distressing for parents. So, yeah, it's tough. It really is. Yeah. Because you feel like a bad parent. Absolutely. Uh, when your child ha has any sort of cavity. Um, Karina, what should parents be doing to encourage good oral hygiene in their toddlers? Well, Mel, the important thing is that um, parents encourage good, regular brushing habits from a really early age. Um, and the way to do this is to make it positive and fun, so like a two-minute toothbrushing song or a sticker chart. Um, but we realise that, you know, not all kids find toothbrushing fun, so sometimes you just have to get the job done. So what you do, let them have a play and then help them to brush their teeth because kids need to be helped to brush their teeth until they're about six or seven because until that age they don't have the coordination necessary to give their teeth a really thorough brushing. Mm, and after that age they need to be reminded to brush their teeth <laughs> all the time as well. So the good habits at a young age actually do pay off later in life? Oh absolutely. So if you're able to establish those good habits early on like toothbrushing and young kids and then later on when they're in school flossing, um, that'll set them up for life because it becomes part of their daily routine. The other thing you can do is to make sure that they see a dentist regularly um, and in New Zealand we're really lucky because uh, dental care is free for all kids up to the age of 18 um, and if your kid is not enrolled in the free community oral health service you can call 0800 Talk Teeth. Excellent, that is really good to know. Um, now Katie, can you show us the right way to show your toddler how to brush teeth because you always seem to hear different stories about what's right, so can you show us how we should be doing it? Absolutely, and Mel, would you, like in this would you like to hold the model for us, Mel? Absolutely. Yeah, I've been wanting to do this. <laughs> okay. So we like to make the process really simple. Do you want me to open my mouth? Or not? Yeah. Okay. Let's see if Mel can be a well-behaved toddler. <laughs> um, so we want to have the toothbrush half on the gums, half on the teeth, about a 45 degree angle, and just brushing straight across. No, no circles, no flicks, nothing fancy, just really strong brushing straight across. I find the places where parents miss is the sides of the back molars, so just making sure you turn the brush to get the back molars. It can be difficult to get them to open their mouths wide enough too. It can be. Sometimes it's actually easier when you're half open than when you're all the way open. So okay. a small toothbrush and you'll be able to get in there. Wow, so that's how that should be, so no flicks, nothing fancy, no flicks, that's no a toddler circles, age. No circles, nothing fancy. Okay, uh, what about toothpaste, what should we be using for our toddler? Well, what I love about the New Zealand guidelines is everything's really standard. Um, we really want fluoride in the toothpaste and just a small smear for our toddlers and then a pea size for children five years and over. Um, and so any fluoridated toothpaste from the supermarket that's for slightly older children will be perfect. So, okay, so they just like a little smear? like Just a tiny smear, and even rubbing it into the bristles if you're worried about them swallowing too much. Because that can be difficult to do, because sometimes they want to do it themselves. Mm. They squeeze pretty hard. Um, Karina, should toddlers be rinsing after they brush their teeth? So, um, for everyone, whether you're a child or an adult, you should spit, not rinse, because you want the fluoride to stay on your teeth. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> See, I thought I would have known how to brush my teeth by this age. Obviously not, though. Um, Katie, what about electric toothbrushes? Kids can nag for electric toothbrushes. Are they helpful for children? Look, nine times out of ten, Mel, I think kids are really vigorous with their scrubbing. Electric toothbrushes are great when you use them properly and you carefully move them around. I haven't seen a two-year-old being able to carefully move their toothbrush around. So I think for young children, just a manual, soft manual toothbrush is great. And when should they advance to a harder style of toothbrush? Usually probably about seven or eight, they can go onto an adult sized toothbrush, but it just really depends on the size of their mouth. So it's good to have your annual check out with the dentist and they can give you advice specific for your child. And then the, the dentist can keep on top of what's going on. So you Absolutely. know that if there's anything bad coming up, you can keep an, an, an angle on it. Mm -hmm. Hey, thank you so much. That has been enlightening. I could have something. <laughs> Great advice, Katie and Karina. Now, um, thank you for, for joining us on the Coffee Group. Thank you. Coffee Group is brought to you by Anmam Pedia Pro 3, the only toddler milk with no added sugars. Now, if you have any worries that you would like addressed by our parenting panel, message us on the Cafe Facebook page. One contributor will win this cool ebook from Anmam. Mum, am I going to play it again? Yes, I am. Wouldn't oh. it be absolutely amazing to win this ebook?
It would be. Are you getting bored of me saying that every week? You probably are. You can record your own voice reading the story, or a grandparent can too. It's really good. Congratulations to Zoe Took. Thank you for your topic idea. Your ebook is on its way.